Okay, I have a question for you guys. For one million dollars, one million dollars, would you ever marry this lady? And I'm going to say you would have to stick it out for at least five years. That is the question. For one million dollars, would you marry this lady? But the stipulation is you have to try to stick it out for five years years here i was sitting in los angeles in my beautiful office of my own late night talk show soon i would be driving my hybrid car to my beautiful fucking home to kiss my two beautiful and healthy children and my husband who had taken the year off to parent so i could focus on my career have all of this all of it because 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 I was allowed bodily autonomy at 15 I will not be shamed into being quiet we will not be shamed into being quiet never again I Never stop talking about my abortion or my periods or my experiences in childbirth, my episiotomies, my yeast infections, or my ovulation that lines up with the moon. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So once again, guys, the question is, for one million dollars, would you put up you have to marry this woman and stay with her for five years for one million dollars. Would you do it? Let's go over this one more time and kind of break it down just so you can really, you know, get to know your future wife here. <laughs> here I was sitting in Los Angeles in my beautiful office of my own late night talk show. All right, starting now, already aggressive tone, not my favorite, probably not your favorite either, but you're going, okay, yeah, she looks like she's pretty decent looking, cool, all right, she looks like she's in shape, okay, let's, let's hear her out, let's hear her out, the, the angry tone is a little concerning, but, you know, let's hear her out. Soon I would be driving my hybrid car to my beautiful fucking home to kiss my two beautiful and healthy children and my... Okay, so now we know the single mother, two children. Now you're going, ew, a million dollars. I don't know. But, you know, it's a million bucks. And it's only five years. So... You know, let's keep hearing her out. Husband who had taken the year off to parent so I could focus on my career. Remember, for $1 million, for one year, you actually can take off all of work and stay at home, hang out with the kids. Although we all know what kind of attitude this lady would, you know, be bringing home, but... All right, a million dollars, maybe. And I have all of this. Okay, okay, that right there was a snapping point. Cause you see, this is uh, this is something you can notice with certain people is when they get some type of uh, crowd or even just in a normal setting, like if you're at a bar or something and somebody starts talking and they get some attention, and you can see the attention. They like roll with the attention. It like pumps them up. It goes to their head. And you can see, look at her face right now. It's like I am feeling um, some like major heat radiation coming off of her. It, it, it really looks like to me steam is coming out of her ears right now. In fact, I kind of would like to see how crazy her eyes look right now. <laughs> this... Oh, this is terrifying. All of it! Because! Because!
because because okay the three becauses is concerning not that everything else wasn't concerning as well but three because is the because 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 she's so filled with anger and emotion that she has to repeat the same word three times while she's hitting the podium just so she can actually figure out what she's going to say next to clear her emotions out of her head <laughs> and then this look at the lips look at the reptilian snake there uh the snake tongue Licking the lips here. She's fired up. She's just getting started, guys. Just getting started. I was allowed bodily autonomy at 15. At 15. Now, I get it. These days, it's crazy. Um, but, man, at 15, the only thing I was worried about was, like, uh, Xbox Live. Worried about, like, playing ping pong with my buddies at 15 and she's getting the she's getting the big a the big a at 15 now let's just stretch this out let's just um take a guess i don't know how old she is in this i don't i just saw this video someone posted but you know we're gonna guess she's at least 30 years old because she has a couple kids already career all that stuff um and she had the big A at 15. Now, that doesn't mean that that was the first time she slept with a man. That was the first time she got the big A. Meaning, she could have been sleeping you know, with people since as young. We don't know how young she was when she started. But we know she didn't stop. We know this type of woman with this crazy mindset was jumping around the CC for many, many years. So factor that into your $1 million payday for marrying her because we don't know what creepy crawlies she's got, you know, creeping up her legs uh, from all these years bouncing around on the pogo sticks. I will not be shamed into being quiet. She will not be quiet. Could anyone, did anyone else pick up on that just by, you know, her tone? <laughs> She will not be quiet. So factor that in, guys. Factor that into your five years of heaven with this angel. She will not be quiet. You will get to hear this voice constantly. She will not be shamed into being quiet never again. Never again. She will never again be quiet. <laughs> never. Forget about the peace and quiet and solitude. You know, you already know you got some the kids that are going to be loud, noisy, all that. But again, when I was a public school teacher, it was always, there was always, you know, it was going to be that chaotic environment in a sense when you have a bunch of kids. But I got used to it. I loved, I loved hanging out with them. That was great. But so forget your own freedom on that sense. And now you got this wildebeest coming home, raging, screaming about every in, you know, Every bad thing that happens at work about the patriarchy, all this. <laughs> Could you do it? Could you do it for 365 days, five years in a row? Could you do that for $1 million? I will never stop talking about my abortion. Or she will never stop talking about her big A. You get to hear about that every night. So... When she comes home after her long day of work and you did your work with the kids and you put on this nice meal for her because, of course, you know, you know what kind of dominant man attitude this woman is bringing home. You make the meal for her and, uh, you know, you're going to have this nice dinner, maybe pour a glass of wine for you and her. And what do you get to talk about? The nice, peaceful conversations about her big A because she will never ever stop talking about it she will never be quiet about it my periods or my experiences in childbirth my episiotomies my yeast infections or my ovulation that lines up with the moon <laughs> i mean what why like i she will never shut up about her 
Let's go do that one more time. My yeast infections! Why would you, if you have a yeast inf why is that something that you want to share with everybody and not shut up about? Why? Why? For my ovulation that lines up with the moon! <laughs> For the ovulation that lines up with <laughs> Oh, she also said she would never stop talking about her, what was it, during pregnancy, like that whole experience. Why? Why would that be something that she would continually talk about? Talk about like there's no reason to that. <laughs> no guy around her could relate to that, so there would just be no point, other than to just shame him that he doesn't have it as hard as she does because of the patriarchy. Anyway, guys, I saw this and uh, I thought my first thought was, "Oh, poor guy, whoever married her," and then I was like. Dang, is there anyone in the world that would knowingly marry her? And then I was like, okay, let's let's stop being silly. Is there anyone that would knowingly marry her, even if they were given a million dollars? And I don't know about you guys, but I personally would not. That five years of my life, I would never get back. And it would probably, just think about this. If you were this thing's husband... You, it would probably shave a good 15 to 22 years off of your life just from putting up with the stress that oozes out of her. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me know in the comments. Would you marry her for $1 million? Or, you know, if not a $1 million, what would it take? What would the price be where you would sacrifice your well-being to be with this beautiful, wonderful angel of a woman? <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh guys, let me know. I want to hear. I want to hear on this one. I definitely want to hear. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, share the video, but definitely subscribe.